China deploys ship killer missiles in wake of U.S. ship's South China Sea tour. Earlier this week, a U.S. guided missile destroyer conducted a freedom of navigation mission in the Parasil slash Zisha Islands, which Beijing said amounted to trespassing in China's territorial waters. The Chinese military has mobilized its new DF-26 nuclear-capable anti-ship intermediate-range missiles to the remote northwest plateau, presumably in response to the U.S. destroyer's passage, the Global Times has reported, citing national broadcaster China Central Television CCTV. It was not clarified exactly when the missiles were mobilized nor and whether their deployment was permanent or part of a training exercise. In any case, as the Global Times emphasized, the missiles are now deployed and capable of mobile operations across the country. Commenting on the matter, a military observer who asked to remain anonymous explained that even when launched from deeper inland areas of China, the DF-26 has a range far-reaching enough to cover the South China Sea. On Monday, the U.S. Navy conducted another Freedom of Navigation mission in the South China Sea, sailing the U.S. guided missile destroyer USS McCampbell near the Parasil Islands, also known by the Chinese as the Zisha Islands and by the Vietnamese as the Huang Sa Islands, a string of islands, reefs and banks in the South China Sea, contested by China and Vietnam, as well as Taiwan. The People's Liberation Army Rocket Force PLARF, commissioned the DF-26 in April 2018, and has repeatedly shown off the missiles, nicknamed the Guam Killer for its theoretical ability to strike the U.S. Navy base at Guam, in military parades in Beijing and the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. The solid-fueled missiles have an estimated operational range of 4,500 kilometers.